So some stuff just came in to do something for a moment. I forgot where I was now. But um Oh my goodness, where was I? So I woke up, I was in this room and I believe quite a bit of time has passed as well, as in months and possibly even a year. I really don't know about time. And when I ask and I'm told, I then forget. So I don't, it's very hard to keep a record. But um, it is amazing what can happen to you in life. So um, I woke up and I was here. I have no memory of um, things that happened. I don't know how I got here. All I know is I'm being looked after by stuff. Stuff are cooking for me and doing exercises with me and quite mild exercises and quite basic exercises like balancing, standing up, sitting down, walking. Um, very simple things. But they are actually complicated things, but you normally do them without thinking about it. But they are actually quite involved. So you need to appreciate the things that you can do without thinking about anymore. Um, you're far more capable than you realise. And it's only when you have an injury that you realise that you actually are quite capable so um, I'm sorry to repeat and whatever but uh, it's hard to retain my train of thought so I woke up I was in this situation um, I'm being looked after by staff who cook for me do exercises with me um, and basically make sure I'm safe I largely take care of myself now, but that's changed over time. Initially, I had a lot more um, assistance in everything. But, um, so initially I was wearing a, using a wheelchair, and then I progressed to a walking stick with four feet on it, like a, called a quad pod. And since then I've moved on from the quad pod to a normal walking stick. And I'm even walking sometimes without a stick at all, which is very tricky. But um, I'm, I'm doing that a bit more often over time. <laughs> so my memory is a big problem. It's hard to know what I've been doing day to day. So I feel like I haven't left my room. Um, but I'm sure I have been leaving my room and going out for walks and whatever. I just don't retain that information, so it's hard to keep track. Um, the staff here have been brilliant for me, and the program that I'm on uh, is fantastic because I don't have to worry or think about how to manage my life. I um, mean, it's done for me, and so all I can concentrate on is getting better, I suppose. Um, it's frustrating and slow. I think I've been here for months and possibly a year or more. And no one can say how long I'll be here and how fast progress will be. Um, there has been progress up to now. But whether it will continue or this is it, I can't say. So um, life is very strange for me. And very simple, thankfully. Um, a, a typical day is I wake up, I have breakfast, um, I think I do some exercises, um, and the rest of the time after that is mainly having short sleeps. Um, the television's on, but I don't watch it very much, to be honest. I use my phone a lot on the internet and um, WhatsApp and Google stuff. Um, my phone has been fantastic and I don't know how I lived without it before.
but um, absolutely vital in my current posi position. I have a computer, but I can only use it with supervision in a certain room, and it's awkward to use. Because where I am at the moment, there are rules about what I'm allowed to do in internet access, etc. I'll be, moving, I'll be moving to a new place soon, which will have a computer that with internet access that I can use normally. So I'm looking forward to that happening. No one can tell me exactly when. I just know it will be fairly soon. So I just that I'm not trying to. I don't know what I'm trying to achieve with this thing in terms of it being useful for anybody to see. But I suppose part of it is trying to inform you of how life can change radically, very, very quickly, very quickly. And you need to understand the things that you have in life that you don't think about are actually vital and very important and very difficult. The fact that you can walk and um, remember things and you can talk freely and you're not in pain and you can go walk out outside whenever you want to um, these things are actually quite difficult to do but you've obviously learned to do them over time and it's easy now but um you are far more capable than you realise and you're doing a lot more than you realise. Um, so take a bit of time to appreciate the normal things you can do. Um, the fact that you can remember things. <laughs> My memory is mostly taken away and I have to work very hard to remember anything and use my phone as a recorder to make notes and audio notes and whatever. But um, the fact that you can remember and just walk and get up and go to the toilet if you want to without thinking twice about it is actually significant. And I think it's good to appreciate that about the things that you have. So I'll probably stop in a little while now. I have no idea what's happening in life now. Um, my day is simply getting up, having breakfast, doing a bit of exercise, and then the rest of the time is sleeping on and off, and entertaining myself on the phone. I'm having some, some communication with people, not as much as I would like, but... um. It's very strange because I don't remember people anyway. Um, I I know their names, but that's pretty much as far as it goes. So I'll be talking with someone, and I know that I know them, and so I'm comfortable to talk with them. But um, I don't know as you would know people normally. So um. I'm hoping very much that that will improve over time. But um, no one can say if that will happen. So I have to accept this, this might be life now. And I have to find a way of making that work somehow. So my main problems now are, are my memory. And the fact that I can't taste food most of the time. But it is on and off, thankfully. So sometimes I have some taste. So I've got my physical problems, my taste. And I'm being looked after in this supported accommodation. But um, I have no idea what life is now, really. I don't have a job anymore. I don't know when I last worked. I don't know how I'll manage income. I don't want to be on benefits for, for life. Obviously, I don't have a choice now, but um, going forward, I'm hoping I can think of something to do that will earn money for myself. 
but that might be just a pipe dream. It might be impossible to be independent in that way. And I have to accept that. But um, I really can't believe that this is life and that this has happened. And I suppose part of me is still grateful that it is not a lot worse. I could have lost an arm. I could be disabled. Um, the 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 hundred and one things that could be worse than I have it now. But I still feel sorry for myself. But um, part of me is still grateful that it isn't a lot worse. And I feel that I can still make some progress from here. I just don't know what that will be and how it will work. But uh, I am feeling that I can try. So um, I think I'll stop here for now and I will look to do something more. But I don't know how that will go. So I'll have to see. So as I say, I do want to have communication with people and feedback. So I don't know how I'm going to distribute this, but I imagine there'll be some means of responding to it. So do me a favour if you're inclined inclined to do so and communicate. It doesn't matter what, even if you want to abuse me and say that I wasted your time or something horrible like that. But communication is very important to me um, because I haven't talked to people very much at all for a long time, many months and possibly years. Um, So I'm trying to make life work now and online communication is a, is a way to go, I think. So thank you, and I hope it's been of interest. Bye.